Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get one of the best armor sets that you can get in the game that allow you to increase your damage pretty substantially. Now, the best thing about this armor set is that you can actually get it very early in the game if you don't mind sneaking in to higher level areas. Now, I will be showing you how to get to all of these without basically interacting with anybody. And this is going to be the Mentor's Cloak. I have upgraded everything to the Mythical status. You will be able to see the max stats this set will provide. But the set bonuses are very good. Now, this is a Raven's uh, armor set, which means it's going to have slightly lower defense, but it has increased attack after critical hits and additional increase to speed, which is pretty darn good. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. First up, we're going to need to go to Guildsford. Uh, there's going to be a church here, and if you go to right here on the road, you're going to see this lift. Now, for those of you that don't know, these lifts can actually be activated to, guess what? Lift you up. There we go. Once you're up here on the lift, just go ahead and shoot this bad boy down. That's going to open up a way into the church. We can then hop, skippity jump up in here. You're going to need to drop down this here ladder. And you can already see where we need to go next. It's this area right here. Just got to break those boxes. Break this bad boy. Drops us down into here. Open this door. And then, of course, there's going to be more boxes in the way. Also, if you're wondering what sword we're using, this is Excalibur. I do have a video tutorial how to acquire Excalibur if you would like to get it. Definitely one of the best two-handed weapons you can get in the game. It's quite a long process to get it, but man, is it worthwhile. You can check out that video in the description below. But right back here, we have got our first of this wonderful mentor set. And we are going to fully upgrade this as well because it looks really great when it's fully upgraded. Next up, we've got to go east all the way over here to the Andertham hideout. Andertham hideout? I don't know. Anyways, there's going to be a drop down right here. This is relatively easy to get to. You're going to have to drop all the way down. There's going to be a dude that you can assassinate down here. And there it is. Oh, bye bye now. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, there's a couple things that we're going to need to do. First and foremost, at the end of this, we got to break that. And pick up this bad boy right here. Look at the stupid rats. Slide through this bad boy. And there's going to be a wall that we need to chuck this at right there. Oh, of course we're on fire. That's oh, so frustrating when that happens. At least it's lighting the way, right? <laughs> Definitely one way to do it. Over here. Are we still on fire? Oh my god. And then right on the other side of this, our next piece of armor. The Mentors of Embrace. Now we've got to go to good old Snottinghamshire. Yeah. It's actually in the Sherwood Forest at the Sherwood Hideout. This one's pretty quick to get to, although the people in this area are high level, so I highly recommend maybe just running in, looting, and then running away. Because why not? It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. There's also a ton of really evil wolves around. Uh, so be careful of the wolves, because they do not mess around. The next piece is also in Snottinghamshire. It's in this camp that is north along the river. Now this one you will have to fight people or at least one person to get the item. I went ahead and cleared out the camp because this particular NPC will try and run away and just basically ruin everything. I got one dude that's still alive up there. Uh, but this particular NPC can be really, really annoying. 
Uh, so I went ahead and cleared out the camp. Once you open this up, it's going to try and run away. So I highly recommend doing whatever you can to try and prevent her or him from leaving. This can be a couple different ways. Uh, the rope is definitely a good choice. Oh, yeah. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You will need the key that that person holds to unlock the chest to get the mentor's cloak. The final piece is going to be in the Winchester garrison. You are going to need at least one arrow. Unless you're a horrible shot, then you'll need more arrows. Uh, but we need to get to the garrison. We can try and do this completely stealthily. There is one guy kind of like right in front of where we need. Well, there's a whole bunch of people right in front of where we need to be. Um, but we need to actually open up a window first. Or um, do a thing first. So we're actually just going to run straight through here. And what we need to shoot. Of course, I can't see it. It is right there. Actually, can we see through it through this window? Yes, we can. There we go. We can open this door. Open that door, and then wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We got the mentor's trousers, and now we just need to get out of dodge because we are lower level than the required level for this area. You basically can do all of this from the beginning of the game if you so desire once you get into England. Now, the set itself does actually look really good. I love this set. And the skills on it are great. So, increases attack after critical hits. Absolutely love it. An additional increase to speed. Fantastic. Uh, so, they do come upgraded pretty well when you get them. Uh, the Mentor's robes and bracers being the worst, I believe, as far as the upgrade goes. Uh, but otherwise, it's a really great set, especially without even having to upgrade it. But we definitely want to upgrade it. Now, to upgrade your equipment to Mythical, you will need these Tungsten Ingots. And they will come from uh, the Wealth Chests in higher level areas. So for the Mentor's Mask and the Mentor's Cloak, it's going to require one each. And we will get new appearances from both of those. Then we need to obviously upgrade our Mentor's Robes and our Mentor's Trousers. So we're going to need a total of five of these tungsten ingots just to get them fully upgraded. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the mentor's robes here. We will get a new appearance for enhancing the quality here. I'm actually really curious to see what they're going to look like after this. Ooh, I don't know if I like that better than the previous version. Uh, now I got to figure out what I want to upgrade to mythical to start off with. I think we're going to do the cloak here. We can enhance the quality. And then we'll get it fully upgraded as well. Ooh, so we just got some more golden trim on it. So I went ahead and upgraded the entire set to Mythical. It's pretty good, all things considered. It doesn't have the highest armor, but this is also in the Raven's Tree. And I believe these just naturally have lower armor, which is perfectly fine. I really do like both of these set bonuses. They are very good. And uh, we got 35 armor on the boots, uh, 37 on the bracers, and 39 on the uh, uh, on the mask. Uh, all with decent evasion and heavy resistance. So I do really like the set. It looks absolutely phenomenal. It looks a little bit better inside of the menu, which is interesting. Uh, the leather becomes a little bit more brown in the actual game, which is a little odd i would have liked to be able to actually change the color of the leather that would have been really nice uh, but anyways i do hope you all enjoyed the video let me know what you think of the mentor set in the comments below i'll see you all in the next one